Hi, and welcome to the Carbone Classroom. I'm Dr. Sam Lubner, and today we'll be covering how cancer spreads. You've probably heard people say that they had a loved one with four different kinds of cancer. Breast cancer, liver cancer, bone cancer, and brain cancer. Can that be right? In rare cases it can, but more commonly, the cancer starts at one site, such as the breast, and the cancer cells spread to those other organs. So it's breast cancer in all those places. Wait, what? Going all the way back, we are made up of cells. Cells make tissues, tissues make organs. As most cancers begin to form in the body, they start in a tissue or an organ, such as the breast duct tissue or the lining of the colon. When it comes to tissues and organs, you have cells, and then you have everything that's not cells, mostly a gooey network of collagen and other proteins called the extracellular matrix. What keeps the cells separated from the matrix is a membrane. Membranes give our organs structure and also prevent cells from floating all over our bodies. The membrane acts like a fence for cells. Cells can stick little protein arms through the fence to try to see and feel what's going on outside, but there isn't a gate, so they can't pass through. Cancer cells, on the other hand, can get through the membrane by doing two things that healthy cells cannot. First, they increase the number of little protein arms they stick through the fence. They do this because they're running out of food, oxygen, or other important resources, and they're searching for more. And second, they make proteins that can eat through and ultimately sneak through the membrane. The result is a hole in the fence and dogs running through the neighborhood. With a hole in the fence, cancer cells have nothing holding them in their original tissue or organ, and they can move through the matrix to enter the blood or the lymphatic system. While only a small fraction of cells that escape into the bloodstream set up residence at another part of the body, it's this initial invasion and escape that sets up the possibility of the cancer spreading. Somewhere along the way, the cancer cells that escaped used the same method to invade new yards, basically sending out fingers and eating holes through new fences to set up shop in these places distant from where they started. We call these new places metastases. To review, cancer cells grow first in the organ they started in and learn ways to invade and spread to other places. Well, that's all for today, everybody. Until next time, class dismissed.